Hey guys, welcome to the ninth tutorial of HTML5 by World Free Apps. In this tutorial, I am going to tell you about the HTML5 Web SQL database. The Web SQL database API is not actually part of the HTML5 specification, but it is a separate specification which introduces a set of APIs to manipulate client side database using SQL. I think you are a web developer and you may or may not have the knowledge of the SQL if you don't know about the SQL you can get uh, know about the SQL from my video tutorials on my youtube channel uh, or if you know about the SQL then you can um, know what I am doing in this tutorial web sql database will work in latest version of your browser so please upgrade the uh, browser with the latest versions the core methods there are many core methods in the web sql database first is open database method this method creates the database object either using existing database or creating new one other is transaction this method gives us the ability to control a transaction and performing other commit or rollback based on the situation. Third is execute SQL. This method is used to execute actual SQL query. Uh, now opening database. How to open a database? The open database method takes care of opening database if it is already exists. This method will create it if it already does not exist to create and open a database you can use these let me show you these following query var sorry where v a r d d b means database equals to open database you must have a basic knowledge of the sql to get know about the uh, HTML5 Web SQL. So, first you get the basic knowledge of the SQL, which you can get from my video tutorials. So, open database. Uh, now, the database name my SQL, for example. Now, the this text database text db now to multiply by 1024 multiply by 1000 for example plus and multiply for example semicolon by using this query you can create and open a database now how to execute queries to execute a query you use the database transaction function the function needs a single argument which is a function that take care of actually executing the query so you can uh, transact the uh, database as in this way uh, database dot transact okay transaction sorry transaction now function uh, tx and then curly brackets tx dot execute sql let me write it okay Oh, I'm so lazy. Curly brackets. Now tx dot execute SQL. Now again brackets. And now commas create table okay not this one. yes this one if 
not exists okay what is going on not exists this exists logs id unique log so now by using this query you can transaction the database as if you have a basic knowledge of the SQL you must be familiar with the insert uh, function of the SQL by using the insert query you can add uh, some data into a table in SQL so uh, I am remembering you you must have a basic knowledge of the SQL to learn uh, this web SQL function in the HTML uh, so and you also uh, may be familiar with the read operation in the SQL so uh, not wasting the time I am going to show a example of the web SQL to you I have already created a example so I just copy and paste this example in my notepad plus plus or any other text editor in which you are going to create your HTML5 file so copy and paste this now you can see here this is the doc type HTML this is the starting of the HTML tag this is head tag this is script as the JavaScript then these are the SQL queries then this is for the uh, transaction query this is also the transaction query and then the um, read operation insert operation and and this is the closing of the script this is the closing of the head these all SQL queries are inside the head tag uh, now this is the body tag in this I defined uh, a div status message and this is the closing of the HTML tag now I am going to save this page and run it in my browser my website I want to save this okay with the name as seventh example now let me run it my browser you can see log message created it displays these uh, paragraphs sentences message log message created and row inserted found rows one as I created uh, the my SQL query for the uh, as I added only a single row in the SQL which uh, whose name is foobar so it shows the found rows 1 by using these SQL queries you can also create a login page as um, you uh, maybe uh, you are familiar with the websites like as Facebook, Gmail, Google uh, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter which uh, uh, uses the login form when you login then this shows your profile so you can uh, you have a knowledge of the SQL for creating a uh, login page for your own website so by uh, getting a knowledge of the SQL queries and the HTML5 you can create web SQL file HTML5 web SQL file for your website and then you can create uh, a login page for your own website and then the user uh, enter his her name or uh, the email ID user ID other things which uh, the field you want to give there and the password then click on the login button and then he can uh, enter into his or her profile so by this 
you can also create a login uh, website um, or other so thanks guys for watching this video uh, and please guys subscribe to my uh, channel for more great videos and keeping up to date with my channel uh, please guys subscribe to my channel and thanks again guys for watching this video and please guys subscribe to my channel